hello and welcome to my youtube channel canvas in this video we are going to learn how to convert fisher projection formula of a sugar into howard projection formula and vice versa there are certain tricks that need to be remembered for rapid interconversion let's go through those tricks these can be summarized in the following table for all the chiral centers except downmost in Fisher projection formula left side OH in Fisher will be up in Haworth while right side OH in Fisher will be down in Haworth for C1 which is achiral in Fisher but chiral in Haworth and exist as alpha and beta enomers in alpha enomer OH is down while in beta enomer it is up for the downmost chiral center in fissure if the OH is on the right side then in the Haworth the CH2OH will be up and if OH is on the left side in fissure then CH2OH in Haworth will be down now let's take the example of conversion of Fisher projection formula of D glucose into alpha and beta D glucopyranose Haworth formula. The Fisher projection formula of D glucose can be drawn like this. For better understanding, let's label the carbons as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We will first consider conversion of D-glucose to alpha enomer. For the conversion of acyclic form to pyranose form, C5OH attacks the C1 to make hemiacetal. This cyclization gave this six-membered cyclic skeleton of Haworth projection. In this skeleton, one to five carbons are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The sixth carbon is not the part of the ring. There are four chiral centers in Fisher. These are C2, C3, C4, and C5. Let's first consider the chiral center except downmost, that is C2, C3, and C4. As we can see in the Fisher projection formula, the OH on C2 is right, so it will be down in Haworth. At C3 in Fisher, OH is left, so it will be up in Haworth. On C4, it is right, so in Haworth, it will be down. Come to the C1. Since it is an alpha enomer, so OH will be down. Now, come to the downmost chiral center, which is C5. Since OH is right, so CH2OH will be up. Similarly, we can make Haworth projection formula of beta D glucopyranose in which there is difference in configuration only at C1. In beta enomer, the OH will be up. Let's have one more example in which we have to convert Fisher projection of L ribose to beta L ribofuranose, Haworth projection formula. The Fisher projection of L ribose can be drawn like this. Label the carbons as 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There are three chiral centers, C2, C3, and C4 in Fisher projection. OH of C4 adds to the aldehyde to produce ribofurinose. The skeleton of ribofurinose can be drawn like this. Let's first consider C2 and C3 in Fisher projection. In Fisher projection, OH on both these carbons is on the left. So, in Haworth, the OH groups on C2 and C3 will be up. 
Now consider C4 which is the downmost chiral carbon. On the OH on C4 is also on the left. So the CH to OH will be down. Finally consider C1 since the aromer is beta so OH will be up. In this way we can convert Fischer projection of any sugar into Haworth projection. That's all in this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video. Thank you very much for watching this video.